action for the past 18 months and it's ongoing. This has meant a lot of photographers have done it really tough, some with no income or severely reduced income for much of that time. It has also meant Victorian photographic students have not been able to do studio visits or engage directly with industry. So after the floating the idea with Julie Moss, director of PSC, Nikon, in conjunction with our industry partners, KL, Australian Photography Awards, Refocus Retreat, The Brown Bill Effect, Story Art, Melbourne Headshot Company, Memento Pro and Epson, decided to bring industry to PSC. What you will see over the next two days is a fabulous schedule of full, full of educational events that have arisen from the collaboration between industry and PSC staff and students. PSC Playground is being streamed through five Nikon Z6 mirrorless cameras. The feed is input and switched through an Atom Extreme switcher, which is completely run by the PSC students who are looking after the switcher, the audio, lighting and cameras. So I'd like to do a very big shout out to the fabulous broadcast team, Josh, Dane and Maddie, and ask them to switch to camera five Stand up, please. Turn around and take a bow. They're not going to do that right now, so I'm going to say thank you on their behalf because without all of you guys, this event would not proceed. Now, Victoria has approximately 12 tertiary institutions running courses in photography and it makes me so proud that every time Nikon has initiated a program for education, that all of the Victorian colleges promote the events and encourage their cohort to come together in person where possible for the collective benefit of the students. A few years ago, this was at RMIT, last year in Cranbourne, and today it's at Photo Studies College. And I know there's a number of TAFEs and colleges around the country who have also encouraged their students to join in, which is so fantastic. Thank you very much. So I'd like to say a very big thank you to Julie Moss, Kat Vinella, Ollie Dauncey, and Jerry. Valenzuela for your support of this event and the use of PSE Studio and for welcoming all of the students around the country to join in. There is a number of fabulous educational offers from all of the industry partners and also the chance to win yourself a Nikon Z5 kit valued at $2,500 by entering the student category of the Australian Photography Awards. So please do check out the offers and the competition Entries close on the 18th of October, so you've still got time to enter. A short disclaimer. We all take COVID-19 very seriously and are following all of the government guidelines and procedures and we are working within, with authorised worker permits. So without further delay, I am very, very pleased to announce the first event for PSC Playground 2021 is creating visual depth with lighting featuring Bernard Curry brought to you by Robin Campbell, director of Melbourne Headshot Company. Robin is an award-winning photographer, speaker, educator and business manager whose business, Melbourne Headshot Company, specialises in producing top quality portraits. Robin is a master of professional lighting and is going to share some of her skills and experience with us today. Now, I know Robin's super excited to be here today and I can tell you that I am too because Robin has brought with her a very special guest, Bernard Curry. Bernard Curry is an Australian actor best known for his role as Jake Stewart in Wentworth, Luke Handley in Neighbours and Hugo Austin in Home and Away. So welcome Bernard and thank you for joining us at PSC Playground and thank you Robin for presenting the very first session. Please welcome Robin Campbell and Bernard Curry. Thank you so much, Julie. Amazing. Thank you, Julie. We really couldn't do what we do in our business without the support we get from Nikon. You know, when we press the bad button and everything goes black and you're on the phone in two minutes to fix it. So thank you so much and thank you for your generosity with all the students. Thanks, Robin. Well. Good luck today and thanks, Bernard. Thank you, thank you so me. much. <laughs> 
So, we are very excited to be here. We are indeed. Bernie and I, we are going to be running through a few different lighting setups. Now, the reason why I chose to talk about lighting today is because as well as doing professional photography and lighting and portraits uh, every day in my business, I also do a lot of photography judging. And uh, I have to say, when it comes to judging student work, the number of times that I see an image with just one light is just insane. So, here's the deal. Students, you have access to lots of lights and today we're going to show you how to use them and I'm very, uh, very fortunate to have such a handsome model to be able to do that as well. So, without further ado, Bernie, if you're happy to take a seat. All right. Sensational. Here we go. All right. So, when I work professionally, dealing with lovely people... You are working professionally. Come on. That's true. I am working professionally right now. That's a good point. (laughs) We do shoot a lot of actors. Yes. And the thing about shooting our actors is we really like to make sure our photography is going to work for them and where they're going. So we usually start with an interview. So yep. we go something along the lines of, so where are you at in your career? Yeah. <laughs> and I guess that part of the part of the function that for you guys is to, you're trying to capture who this person is. And it should be, should be talked about what, what a headshot is really. And mm. A headshot um, for an actor, I'm just saying from my experience, a headshot just should show who you are as a, as a person, right? Mm. And, and as an actor. It's not, you're not trying to show, you know, I'm not trying to look like Sean Connery or Brad Pitt or anything. I want to look like Bernard Curry. So that's what you need to find out who mm. this person is to capture who, what the essence of this person is. Sometimes yeah. I want to look more dramatic. Sometimes I want to do more comedy sort of stuff or, you know, more commercial sort of smiley stuff. Mm. But you still need to know who that person is, right? Absolutely. All authenticity is 100% key yeah. because you can see when someone's genuine in a photograph as opposed to, you know, really putting it on. But yeah. I guess my question to you is, where are you going with your career? What, what area do you really want to go into? Are you wanting to be more of a villain? Are you wanting to be more of a superhero? What are you thinking? Uh, you know, look, I think versatility is the word that I like to use in terms of what awesome. I'm trying to achieve in my career. Um, so, you know, for instance, the, the role that I played on, uh, that I've just finished playing on Wentworth for six seasons of Wentworth was Jake Stewart, mm-hmm. who was a duplicitous type of guy. And at the start, he was a real villain. He was a really mm-hmm. almost Machiavellian kind of uh, villainous character that people love to hate. And any actor will tell you that it's more fun playing a villain than it is to play the hero. It's just more delicious and kind of, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's just fun. You know, it's fun to play the villain. But I've actually had, that, had the blessing of... of of um, the character himself going through uh, uh, like a redemption story as well, which we're sort of exploring towards the end of this last season. Mm. And um, and so, yeah, for me, that's been a great thing to play the villain and also to play the hero in, in many ways as well. Mm. Um, but I think versatility is, I, I want to be able to play villain and I want to be able to play the hero, the romantic lead or the or the kind of the, the character actor as well. You know, and it's... It, you don't want to try and pigeon yourself, pigeonhole yourself too much as an actor into mm. a certain type or a certain role or a certain thing. So, Brilliant. Um, yeah. Excellent. See, these are all things I love to know because so yeah. what we're going to look for in your session today is we're going to try and get some versatility in your shots. Yes. So you walk yeah. away with a few different feels, a few different looks, and so you can just hand them over and, and people can be confident that, yep, you can pull off those looks. That, that no, means it. I'm, I'm, I want to be taken seriously as an actor and I want to go for leading male roles. Fantastic. Right. All right. That, you know, being more specific than saying, I want to be versatile and do everything. Mm. But leading male, you can still be a villain and still be a leading male, you know what I mean? Yep. Have that kind of charismatic, um, you know, kind of leading male look that is, that, that's, you know, it's being taken seriously as a performer. And, and that's, mm. that's the look that I would be going for as, as a, you know, in terms of an acting headshot. Brilliant. Okay. So, leading male, we want strong, we want really, really sort of character, but at the yep. same time, authenticity. Yep. We're not joking around. We're not going for silly throwaway roles. Yes. We want lead character strength. Awesome. Okay. And I think, you know, I think my mum always used to say that my best asset are my eyes, right? You know, I've, I've got a, I think they're a, a nice sort of colour blue and they're, and they're quite, you know, they're quite you know, they're quite a, a distinctive feature of me and, and as a photographer, that's what you'll be concentrating on as well. Yep. Not just the eyes, but that's the sort of, um, you know, that's, I, I think that's my sort of most, um, uh, you know, the, the most sort of the quality feature that, that, that will draw someone to my photograph because Sorry. what you've got to understand as an actor is, and, and when they're doing the casting process, 
it's a little bit different these days, but mm. you know, it's like they've got a whole bunch of headshots, mm. and one of them is going to to draw them in, and, yeah. and if there's got to be something about it that they go, I like this guy. He's, he's, there's something about him. Brilliant. Right? All right. So, for students listening, why did I just go through this this process? Why did I just spend all this time getting to know Bernard? Because in the end, I'm actually going to be probably selling photographs. So it's not just about taking photos that I want, taking photos that as a photographer make me feel good. It's actually about taking photos that Bernie loves, that Bernie's going to buy two, four, six, eight, ten images, and I can keep running my business. So there is a tip. Students, it's not about you. It's about making your client happy. And you might have noticed my active listening, agreeing, repeating back some of the things Bernie said so that he understood that I knew what it was that he wanted, repeating back to him what he was after. So now in our session, we aim to get all of those things. So when we get to the end, and he's got 10 fabulous images, he has to buy them all. So there's a bit of a business tip for you too. Right. <laughs> Bernie's getting all his images for free today. It's all good. <laughs> um, we're starting with this octagon light here. So if you have a look here, this is a softbox. It is a mm. octagon so softbox. We are shooting on Ellen Crom. Thank you so much to KL for providing all of our lighting today. It's what we use in our studio as well. So, we're starting with a style of lighting um, that is basically about as simple as you can get. So, most students have heard of high key lighting. This is low key lighting. So, this is just one light coming in from the left hand side. Bernie, can you stare straight down to the camera lens for me, please? Sensational. Look at that. My goodness. See, now normally I would be looking at getting, there we go. Is that transmitting through? Yep, beautiful. See, normally I'd have to work with my subjects, but Bernie is such a talent. <laughs> Nailed it in one. Nailed yeah. it in one. Nailed yeah. it in one. Okay, so what we're going to do, Ben, I'm going to get you to turn a little bit more side on. Sensational and really intense, straight down the lens. That is absolutely brilliant. Sensational. Now, I'm just going to get those background lights turned off if that's okay. Is that all right? Thank you, Michael. We've got our background lights coming through. There's also a couple of uh, house lights up there that are... Yeah, well, shine down on me, but, I'm you know. glad you brought that up. So I'm actually shooting at a really, really high shutter speed, which means, believe it or not, the background, which is white, is actually going to fall off to pretty much black. Oh, wow, right. Yeah, right. and if it isn't black enough, I actually get to darken that in Photoshop. So yep. a lot of our work these days after we take the photos happens in Photoshop. But yep. Um, yep. I've I got to say, I think you, you won't need much work, to be honest. <laughs> I think everything's coming through absolutely beautifully. Oh, good, good. <laughs> All right, I'll just do a quick test to see if the uh, background light's still coming through. And we've still got one on the left. There we go. It's still coming through. That's all right. We might just leave it for now. It's actually pretty nice. It's actually a nice blue light coming through on the background. Oh, so okay. it's, yeah, actually, yeah. It's, it's actually a little bit um, right. yep. uh, interesting with the composition as well. So okay. I'll pop that up on the screen so that people watching can actually see. So <coughs> there's a beautiful background light coming through, which is giving a little bit of dimensionality there. And as you can see with the lighting, it's just on one side of Bernard's face. So what we're going to do, Bernie, I'm going to get you to turn your head three quarters way in that direction there. There we go. And we're just going to do a shot that's pretty much side on. So just hold it there. There we go. So that will show basically the short key lighting. So you can see it falling along his forehead, down his nose. There you go. I'll pop it on. There you go. And it's really, really strong character lighting, but at the same time, it's showing really nice perspective as well. So what I'm going to do, Bernie, is I'm actually yep. going to get you to cross your arms because I'm going to get a slightly different line on the suit. There we go. I'm going to come in and just make sure that's sitting. There we go. That's it. And then across your arms from there. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Photography is 80% styling. Yes. Right. <laughs> or so you've got your own stylist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, excellent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to again look to the side. Look to right there. That's it. And just keep your eyes back towards me. That's it. Hold it there. There we go. And look at that. We've got our background lights as well. So now we've got a beautiful low-key side light. And that almost looks, uh, that the look that we've got here is a very intense, um, very, very sort of um, moody. moody kind of feel as well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So we're going to do another one. And I'm actually going to get you just even a little bit more side on. Even more side yeah, like on. That. Yeah, that's it. And when I say three, come back to me. Yes. Straight down the lens with intensity. You ready? One, two, three. Ah, oh, love it. Nailed it. Look at that. I've been that. working on my single eyebrow lift. Um, Ooh, do you have an eyebrow lift? Yeah. Which one is it? Left or right? Oh. I can do both. Can you? I worked on it back in the day when Lee Majors was doing the fall guy. Okay. You know, I can do he used one. to do a lot of, he used to do a lot of uh, eyebrow. 
Ah. Eyebrow, you, know? you know what? I, I think if you can get your right eyebrow up. There we go. That's good. Excellent. Just hold that there. Oops. Sorry. Oh, no, that's quite okay. It's actually really good. But I'll get you to... That's good. Hold it there. Sensational. Now, this is very, very contrasty, and it's contrasty uh, on purpose. What I'm going to do, just for the sake of learning more than anything else, I'm going to put in a little bit of reflector here. So, what that's going to do is just bounce the light back. All righty. So, this is a one light setup. About as basic and simple as you can get. And Robin, you are using an 80mm lens on this, is that right? I am, yes. Yeah. I am using a beautiful Nikon Z with an 80mm lens. Yes. It's actually a 1.8, which yes, is 1. lovely, 8. 85. Yep. Ah. Is it too dark? Yep. Is it changing mics over? That's it. Perfect. Too loud, too soft. This will be just right. This will be just right. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I should have warned you. I'm one of these people that whenever I get up to speak in public, I say, no, probably no microphone. I'm loud enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All righty. So, just straight to camera again. That is lovely. So, for the purpose of a little bit of education there, you'll see now there's a little bit more detail on the side of Bernie's face. So, just by flashing that little bit back in there, it's taken it from a slightly sort of evil, sinister, theatre kind of look to something that's a little bit more rounded. I go, all right, let's get, make sure that's not in frame. Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent. So now that we've got a little bit of fill, we're actually going to go a little bit friendly. So a little bit warm. That is sensational. Lovely. And I'll pop that up for the students. So you can see the difference now in that shot. So you can see now there's a little bit of fill in there. But at the same time, there's a little bit of intensity still happening there. So that's setup number one. That's as simple as we can get. We're going to move now to setup number two, which means... Bernie, would you mind changing to your leather jacket? Certainly. Sensational. Let's go rock and roll. <laughs> I will move this out of the yeah. way. All right. So, we're going to turn off our octagon light. And there we go. Things are going to get a little bit more interesting. So, we're now going to move to a bit of rim lighting. So it's a little bit more of a technical exercise than I guess what we would traditionally use in, in a portrait, but it's so that you can see the difference that rim lighting actually makes. So, Bernie, I'm going to get you to come in here standing this time. And what we have here is two strip lights on either side. So these are gridded strip lights, which means that they've got these little bits of um, extra funneling so that the light goes in one direction. Yep. And this is going to light either side of you. And being in a black jacket, it's going to give a really lovely silhouette. Yes. So with that comes a bit of strength in the pose. Am All right. For, for this light? You need a, you need a light uh, possibly. <coughs> there we go. All right. I am going to move that boom slightly. Yeah. I'll just move it out of the way. That'll work. Yep. Lovely. Now, usually, obviously, in, in a headshot situation, you never usually have su the subject straight on, do you, Robin? It's like... Absolutely. There's always some sort of angle which just kind of makes the... The, the portrait just slightly more interesting. Absolutely. We like, we like to get a little bit of depth in there. Yeah. Exactly as you are doing. See, you're a pro. That's the nice thing about working with pros. And students, if you've not ever worked with models or acting professionals, it's actually worth the time to just ring up a modeling agency and work with a professional model because I tell you what, it makes your life so much easier. <laughs> when, when people know what they're doing. Yes, yes when you can do. When you can actually move your body. Yeah. It makes such a massive difference. All right. Here we go, Bernard. So, let me just change that so that we've got the right light flashing. Here we go. Do one more of those. Oh, make it look down pat. Alrighty. Bang. Straight on. Perfect first time. So, I'll pull it up for the students to have a look. So, if you have a look there, there is this beautiful rim light all around Bernie. So, Bernie, I'll actually turn that around for you if you want to have a look. It's a... Uh, Beautiful oh, wow, rim yeah, light right. yes. all around the outside of you. Yes. It's, got, it's got your cheek, the cheekbones. The producers are not going to really figure out who, who this actor is, but that's, um, <laughs> we're talking about you know, interesting portraits, aren't we? Here. Absolutely. For the purpose of lighting and, and yep. showing you what lighting looks like, yep. this is pretty much one of the coolest things you can do. So rim lighting, um, it's actually really good 
um, we're not doing this today, guys. It's, it's actually really good on nudes as well. So if you're shooting nudes, uh, oh, rim lighting. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's the later one that we're not broadcasting. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> cool. So I'm going to do another shot just like that. That's fantastic. Sensational, very good. Now I'm actually going to get you to go slightly more dynamic with your body pose and elbows out just a little bit, like a little bit more. Yep, sensational. Love it. Really good. Hold it there. Brilliant. Okay, so we're now going to take this lighting to the next level. And by doing that, I'm introducing another light. Yes. Alrighty, so this light here comes up over the top. And I'll line it all up again. Oh, might need to just raise it a little bit. Beautiful. Uh, Michael, I think it's turned itself off. If you wouldn't mind jumping in and turning it back on again, that would be sensational. All right, so what we're using over the top is an Elencom light with a square grid. So this is quite a strong light. This is not the sort of light I would put on... Uh, 50-year-old woman who wants to look delicate. Right. However, mm. character is absolutely incredible with this yes. light. So right. it brings that intensity. Yeah. Um, it is known as the Hollywood light. It's also yes. the Paramount lighting. It's also known as the butterfly lighting because the little pattern you get underneath your nose. Oh, so okay. it has a lot of light, a lot of different names. Yes. <laughs> but for your face, what it will do is actually bring lots of strength and intensity. Yep. And when I put the filter in, a little bit of bounce light. We're going to get that intensity in your eyes as well that I know you're looking for. Yep. Alrighty. So, how are we going? All lined up there. Sensational. I'll just do a test shot. Excellent. Alrighty. Let me just make sure that I've got the right group selected. One more test shot. There we go. Aha! Sensational. All right. Does that jacket go a little white? So I want to go a little bit darker. There we go. Sensational. So you want to maybe really do it? Yeah. yeah. If you can do it up, that would be great. We'll get a nice little bit of a V line happening then as well, which will be yeah. sensational. Yeah, thank you. All righty. So the thing about butterfly lighting is you need to make sure the eyes aren't too low, otherwise you get big circles under the eyes. So we just want to make sure that um, we can see... Bernie's big baby blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Did your kids get, kids get blue eyes? I think they did, didn't they? Yes. Love it. My wife has brown eyes, but she actually has... My, both of my parents have blue eyes, and she has one parent with blue eyes and one with brown eyes. So the blue eyes... There's three blue eyes in the, in the, in the grandparents, yep. which means blue is dominant. Brilliant. So, now normally I would shoot this uh, vertically, however, it's messing with the feed. It's what? <laughs> messing with the feed going out. So, uh, finger stills photographer, I think in vertical and horizontal, oh, but see. when it comes to video, it's all horizontal and okay. it's still a mistake I make all the time. Right. I've just been told that it's coming through the feed. Uh, like this. Right. <laughs> well, That's all right. Like, That's, That's all right. I can, I can fix that by just turning the camera around. And... For those uh, watching, they, they, they will know that it will be later cropped into a vertical shot. Let me just check that lighting, make sure everything is working beautifully. All right, sensational. Now, I'd like to get a really strong look. Yep. So, but chin up and I straight down the camera. That's it. Three, two, one. Love it. Sensational. Really, really good, Bernie. That is looking so strong. A little bit more side on, so we get a little bit more attitude. That's it. Yep. Do not straight down the camera. Absolutely brilliant. See, that is, that is male leading role through and through. Right. I tell you what, the strength yeah. in that shot is Tom incredible. Tom Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Now, I'm going to bring this reflector in just so that you can see what happens when we pop a little bit of light underneath. So, the other thing about butterfly lighting is it's very heavily from the top, very heavy from the top. And a little bit of that light makes a big difference in terms of getting that happening. A little bit of highlights back into the lovely baby blue. So I'll pop there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Still be out of frame. Okay. A little bit in frame. Slow it slightly. Okay. 
Alrighty. That's great. Nice warm expression. Love it. Sensational. All right. Chin up again. Nice. That's sensational. There's a lot of attitude coming through there. Absolutely brilliant. Have it with hands. Do you reckon you can do it with a serious Excellent. Love it. Now, the moment I can see the back of your fist, just rotate it slightly. Yeah, brilliant. So what happens is when you have the back of your fist towards the camera, the fist itself actually becomes almost as big as the face. It's quite yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. That is brilliant. Love the watch as well. Turn up slightly. Excellent. Just turn a little bit away from camera. Love it. Back to me. Excellent. These are looking really strong. What I would like you to do, same position, but just look away for a moment and come back with intensity. Yep. And three, hang on, actually hold it there. That's a, ooh, hold it there, hold it there. That's just a really lovely moment. I'm going to capture that. Ooh, just, see now I've seen this moment and it's working incredibly well for you. So with your wrist, just rotate it uh, back around how you had it originally. Yep, there we go. And just turn a little bit more side on again. Oh, that's good. Okay. I think I like to go on to sleep again. There we go. Okay, and with your eye light, yes, perfect. Hold it there, hold it there. Ooh, we're making magic here, Bernie. We are making magic. I tell you what. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get you to, yep. you're looking away. I want you to come back at camera with a really strong expression. You ready? And three, two, one. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so this time I'm going to get you to do the same thing again. Come back really, really strong, but chin up a little bit. You ready? And three, two, one. Yes, sensational. All right, let's change those hands over. Maybe, maybe try the other way around. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's natural. That is looking really strong. I'm just going to do one from that angle again because I think that really works for you. Love it. Okay, I'm going to go fresh, chin up. You ready? In three, two, one. Yes, love it. Absolutely love it. All right. You are working so well for me here. <laughs> I'm absolutely having a ball. So, we're actually going to introduce more lights. Can you believe it? I know. Well, I, I love more it. More lights. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to work this a little bit more. We're going to go to actually having lots of lights on. Yep. So, we are going to have the butterfly light. Yep. We're going to have the room light. We're going to have Key the room light. light. Key light is off for this one. Okay. Yep. Yep. So, you're going to have a beautiful silhouette. Yep. You're going to have a light coming down from the top, which will give you intensity. But then we're going to create depth by having some background as well. So, there'll yeah. be a couple of layers in there. Yep. So, we're still thinking intense. We're still thinking moody. Yep. But now, we've got a little bit more character and a little bit more personality coming through. So, we're going to go a little bit possibly friendly with this one as well. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let's test these lights. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that. Straight away, you are looking absolutely stunning. All righty. Let me just line that up a little bit better. Brilliant. Can I get you to take a tiny step that way? Yep. Oh, see, working with pros. Wow, well, that's right. You tell people to take a tiny step, and it's literally a foot. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much. Okay, that's it. Straight down the lens, intensity. All righty. Want to get some more character back in here. So, check it out a bit. Let's go with the fun. Ah, there we go. All right, let's go with the fun. All right, I'm walking down the street a little bit cheeky. You ready? Three, two, one. Love it. Fantastic. Really, really great shot. Okay, remember to keep the chin up. And we're going to go three, two, one. Looking down the street, but cheeky. Yeah, fantastic. All right, that's starting to look like a, you know, happy, friendly, relatable guy. Loving it. Sensational. Really, really good. Fantastic. All right, so. I think we've almost nailed this shot, but I'd like to get a couple of straight down the lens. Yep. Okay. Shoulders square on. Arms almost out and diagonal. That's it. Sensational. Just lean forward from the waist for me. Okay. Now chin up. Chin forward. Fantastic. So for those uh, curious... We always put the chin forward because it just brings a beautiful jawline. And with those rim lights, you're going to be able to see that in a moment as well. So just hold that for now. Really, really strong. We're missing the light. Let's see if it's going to fire for me this time. It is. Okay. So, body, perfect, amazing. Jawline, perfect, amazing. Chin up just a fraction of the time. You ready? It, chin forward, lean forward. Yes. That's it. Okay. And keep working from there. So I want a bit of intensity in your eyes. 
Yeah, flash. <laughs> oh, I could love that flash. Okay, leaning forward, intensity in your eyes. Sensational. Love it. Here we go. All right, one more of those. Leaning forward, intensity. Yes, sensational. You have mm. nailed it. All right, so we have well and truly the strong, intense character. I think we should maybe take it back a step. Yep. And I believe you were probably. Uh, yes, I did. A guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Reflect for now. I've actually got a really handy little stool as well that I'll pull out in a moment. So handy to have a few props and tools and, and bits and pieces around. Chairs are really handy. Three quarter height chairs. Uh, stools you can put feet up on. That sort of thing. Really, really useful. Um, Thing we use a lot is also walls, so you've got something to lean against. Really helpful. Um, and normally when we'd shoot an actor, we would do probably two thirds of it under studio lighting, but then we would also use daylight as well. So we use a combination of the two. Alrighty, thank you. Alrighty. So, Bernie. Yep. I have seen you perform. Yeah, that's What's right. about your band? <laughs> Oh, I've got a band. I've got a. I played in. Oh, I played in bands since I was about 18 years of age. And in fact, even younger than that, even through school, I was playing in rock and roll bands and stuff. You know, so the um, the crew I play with now is called Johnny Wonderpants. <laughs> and uh, I've also, also did a, a, a sort of stage show, which was um, a thing called The End of the Line, the music of the Travelling Wilburys. So it was kind of like a, a, a rock band, but part of the, part of the show was a storytelling kind of music thing. And then the second half was basically a big band sort of rock show for Travelling Wilburys. So, yeah, that was cool as well. Great fun. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, is that the studio where you let out and relax and chill out? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm always playing music. I've got a little studio at home and I'm always sort of noodling away and... Sensational. ...writing a song that called Living in a Lockdown. <laughs> Brilliant. It might not be that current in, in a few weeks, so I've got to get moving on it. <laughs> I'm just going to change lenses. So, you'll be able to Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, well, hang on. <laughs> what are the, uh, the words? Um. Uh, 2021 was meant to be much more fun. Everyone said that it'd be better than the last one. Which kind of guys a little bit like that. <laughs> Living in a lockdown. Under. I haven't got all the lyrics yet. Honey, da, 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 da. I'm living in a lockdown. It's a little bit, yeah. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but um, it's only early days yet with that one, with that song. But, you know. I love it. Yeah. And you know what? We're all going to reflect on this time and those are the moments we're going to remember. <laughs> that we actually made music. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to do an overall shot, um, which has got all my lighting and all my keys and everything in there as well. So later on when uh, I'm going to put together a bit of a manual for students watching so they can figure out how the lighting con configurations and so forth work. So yep. that will help them there as well. So I've now changed lenses to a, a zoom lens so I can get a little bit, little bit wider in my area here. It's actually pretty funky that uh, some of these I might actually leave some of the lighting in, you know. It gives a little bit of context. <laughs> so, move this out a little bit. So, you, you've changed to a 50 mil now, have you? Yeah, well, it's actually a zoom lens. Oh, it's a zoom, so, okay. So yeah, often with portrait photography, you do, you do stay with a fixed lens. Yep. Um, but I, at times, actually enjoy the Vestilli. So, this is a, a uh, 24 to 70. Oh, yeah, yep. Uh, beautiful, beautiful Nikon Z lens. Nice. So, yeah. Got to tell you, a big fan of the Nikon. So, uh, if, they, if people can see from home, you can actually see there's a little uh, yellow square that's tracking uh, Bernie's eye. So, I will always know that his eye is sharp and always in focus. That's and it's point, critical. Isn't it? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't have sharp eyes, it's yeah, sort of, right. um, yeah, nowhere near as strong or as powerful. I'm just going to check the lights there. Sensational. Alrighty. So, we're, what we're going to do from here. I'd actually like you to use the, the stool if yep. you're comfortable with it. Probably, possibly pop one leg up or however you feel. There we go. That's nice. Excellent. Alrighty. Yeah. 
sensation. However you feel comfortable. So just work it so it feels comfortable. Lovely. Just hold it there. It's great. Nice work. Beautiful. So for those uh, looking at home, we've got the two strip lights. We've got the front butterfly light and we have a background light. I'm actually going to move the background light. Uh, it's currently, there's a blue line coming down. I'm actually going to make that a little bit higher and come closer to the top of Bernie's shoulder. Thank you so much. So handy having uh, people here to help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael from KL, he's incredible. He drops stuff whenever we need it and comes to the rescue. Thank you, sir. I'll just check that background light. There we go. Looking, looking, looking stunning there. So for those viewing at home, you'll have a look. There's a beautiful like a halo around the back of Bernie at, at the moment. So that is creating depth. So when I go to crop that in, it, it'll have a slightly three-dimensional feel. And with this sort of image, what I would actually do afterwards is I'd actually put a background in. So right. it might be an out-of-focus uh, group of people behind you right. or something along those lines. Yep. Um, and by keeping it cool and keeping your exposure nice and warm creates depth in the image. Yep. It's quite interesting. It's like a visual illusion. Cold colours go to the back. When colours come forward. Yep. Yeah, so that's what we're achieving there. All righty, that's nice and friendly. I like that a lot. Sensational. Now, I'm just going to move the main light down a little bit just so I've got a little bit more popping mm. into your eyes. There we go. The nice thing about using booms is the flexibility to be able to move them around as you like, which is always a bonus. There we go. Excellent. All right, so now we're moving into a fresher sort of a fresher feel to the photo, so not quite as sinister. We're getting a little bit more light into those eyes. Go. A little bit more, see how far I can get away with it. There we go. Sensational. Do you have a favourite headshot that you've had taken? Yeah, uh, it was a, a guy, I did a session in LA when I was living there. We were living there for almost five years. And a friend of mine who, is, uh, who was going out with a, a very good friend of mine um, is a, was a, is a uh, stylist, uh, makeup artist and stuff. And she said, oh, I've got this, this friend of mine, David Zaw, his name is Z-A-U-G-H. And we should go and do a session. So, yeah, I, I think it cost me something like 500 bucks or something US, which was, I felt like, you know, that's, that's you know. But, but for me, I've used those for like, Almost 10 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's fantastic. To get that amount of use out of an image, the yeah, facility, right. that's you know, sensational. So that, that kind of price is not that, you know, if, if mm. you get something that's good and it's right, that really feels right for you, mm. then it, uh, you know, you can just keep using them. So, um, Brilliant. You know, I, I, do, I do feel like it's time to update them a little bit. Though, so. <laughs> time for a fresh yeah. new look. Yeah, well, yeah. we're going to make that happen, absolutely. I'm just going to yeah. take a shot there. It's actually really lovely seeing you nice and relaxed there. Really friendly, really happy. We've moved the light down a bit, so we've got some, some light popping into your eyes. In Photoshop later, I'll actually enhance that even more. So yeah, right. I'll make your eyes bright blue, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Um, darken some of the, lighten some of the shadows, those yeah. sorts of things, just yeah. to really get that beautiful, smooth contrast happening yeah. within the image. Take another one of those really friendly shots. Absolutely loving it. Sensational. Can you swing the guitar up a little bit so it's on a little bit of a dynamic angle? There we go. Excellent. I don't want to compete with you, but uh, that's good. Hold it there. Excellent. All right. We're going to do... Which it's kind of looking. Oh, this is... The, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Hold everything. Give us straight down the land, straight down the land, beautiful. Okay, go warm and friendly. That's it, nice smile, love it, love well, it, love I was it. Blinking then. <laughs> These are looking like a lot of fun, very friendly, very approachable, sensational, love it. Brilliant, all right, so I'll just pull up that last one. So you can see there, fun, fresh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm actually going to get you to do a couple. Sorry, yeah. A on the oh, do we? The photos are all very dark. Is that the look that you are looking for and will it be changed in Lightroom? Yeah, absolutely. Overall, they are very dark. That is entirely intentional. So the, the dark background and so forth um, is, in, is designed to be that way. It could be also how it's translating through the camera feed as well. So there is, there is a, a strong sense of mood within the images, which is exactly what we're going for. And then from that, when I've got mood there, I can then really selectively lighten. Mm. It's actually incredibly difficult to add mood. So yeah. if you shoot high key, yep. you've got high key. Right. There is nowhere to go. But with the beauty of, of Lightroom Photoshop, I can get moody, 
and then you really bring out accents and stuff in, within that. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I can make the areas that I want really, really pop, really jump out of the page. So as you said, you've got headshots lining up on the table. It's the one that boom stands out. Yeah, that's and right. mood and atmosphere is the thing that that will draw yep. your casting directors in. That is what we want. That is what we're looking for. Sensational. Alrighty. Now we're going to make this a little bit of a little bit of fun. So I'd like you to go side on that way. Excellent. We're going to do yep side on. Beautiful. All right. Now turn your shoulders slightly towards me. That's it. And then chin right around to it. Yep. That's it. Hold it there. Love it. So you can see the dynamic sort of feel happening there. So you've got a shoulder line that's sort of two thirds on, but you've got Bernie's head straight on the camera. So it creates a lovely dynamic feel, lovely angles all the way through the shot. Fantastic. With that left arm, what can we do that? Maybe put it somewhere different. Uh, yep, that looks good. Hold it there. Actually, maybe hold the end, end of the guitar for me. That's great. Awesome. All right, go friendly. Yeah, I love it. That's it. That's it. Sensational. All right. Let's have some fun. Let's make some art. Hold it upside down for me. What can we do? Maybe take it off, take it off the strap. This is a really silly system you say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's just have a little bit of fun for a moment. Turn it upside down for me. Hold it. Oh, that's pretty nice actually. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Love it. Fantastic. All righty. I'll go another one of those. That is so, oh, beautiful. Look at that. Okay, some lovely shapes going on. We'll do that one again. Straight to camera. Yep. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, can I get you to hold it directly vertical? So I've got a line coming, uh, sorry, the other way around. So the base of it, oh. Like that? No, other way around. Other way around. So the base of it, so we've got this line coming up. Symmetry. So I'll get you to pop your elbows out. Okay, we're going to really work with the lighting we have here. So we have a strong rim light coming around. We're going to work with angles. We're going to work with shapes. So if we have a look what we have here, okay, I'm looking for perfect symmetry. All right, so a lot of really, really strong photography is about symmetry. So I need to get your arms somehow symmetrical. So maybe mm-hmm. one on either side perfectly. Yep. Sensational. Hold that there. Oh, we have another question. Will we get to see some of these photos post-production? Absolutely, you will. Absolutely. We will put them somewhere where you can see them all. <laughs> I don't know. They might be on, uh, you know, IMDb or something like that. Yeah, right. Well, absolutely. Excellent. Straight down the camera. Okay. So, when we look at that, there is a lovely mm-hmm. sense of symmetry happening there. Just button out those top fingers. They're a bit... Uh, there we go. Nice. Excellent. Love it. Okay. So, want you with your face. Really intense. Straight down the lens. Love it. Okay, elbows out a little bit. Dynamic, very dynamic. Sensational. Just lean forward a little bit from the waist. Excellent. And then just chin up a fraction. Okay, and then leaning forward again. Really serious. Straight down the lens. There we are. Nailed it. Sensational. That is looking so strong. We're going to go work it just a little bit more, a little bit higher. That's it. Beautiful. That's it, elbows out, chin forward, intensity, three, two, one, excellent. All right, a little bit of warmth, brilliant. There you go, do one more of those. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's play. You got any other ideas? What can you do with it that we can make it sort of really interesting? Um... I mean, we could kind of like, would, is there anything in that kind of thing? It's a strap driver. It's kind of like a rock yeah, and roll pose. But rock and you roll. Can use it more, though, right? Yeah, look, I'd like to. When you're playing, mm-hmm. how does it feel? Well, it just feels natural, you know what I mean? I've played for so long that this is just a natural sort of thing for me to be connecting with the guitar and playing. Would you hold it? Music. Would you hug it? Would you no. connect with it in that, that no. way? And I'm guessing you're not a slam against the, the ground, kind of, you know, in a really... <laughs> yeah, no. um, when I was doing that, it felt like I was kind of like... It felt, it, it's got it's quite of, for me, sort of female lines, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it yeah. felt like a... Yeah. It was not, not, yeah. not to it's say it was erotic or anything, but it, yeah. was, but it was, there was, you know... Yeah, there's a real voluptuous sort of aspect yeah, going through there. Right. Let's work with that. Let's work with that. 
don't we really? I really struggle, struggle with determining the flash output power. How do you work out what flash output power to use, please? That depends on a lot of different things. So it depends on the power of your flash. It depends on what you've set your f-stop to. So we're currently working at f11. Um, the reason why I'm working at f11 is so I've got a little bit of depth of field there. Um, so it's not too shallow because if I've got a really shallow depth of field, I'm going to lose focus in different parts. Um, but the output of the light will depend on quite a few different factors. Um, it's the ISO of the camera. So what uh, Film speed, I guess, what you traditionally call light it. Light sensitivity, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all those yeah. factors. So, um, with your lights, depending on the voltage, et cetera, et cetera, is where you will set it. So, mm. have a play um, and eventually you will figure it out. So, these are all set um, at about 25-ish. Yeah, yep. Follow-up question? As a judge, what do you look for in your lighting? Ooh, I look for mood. I look for impact. I look for separation from the background. So if you have a look at this photo that's up here at the moment, do you see how Bernie's really nicely separated from the background? So there's a difference between him and what's happening behind him. That's a really lovely use of light. Um, you can see a variety of different lighting sources as well. So that creates depth. So just imagine you're watching a beautiful film and I can pretty much guarantee you that they've used a lot more than one light. So, when you're filming Bernie, how many lights do you reckon they've got turned on? Oh, yeah, Any, anywhere between, you know, three if, if, it's, uh, if it's they're creating a lot of mood to like 20, 25 sometimes that <laughs> they're employing. And then, the, and then you know, the, they've often got lighting guys with these little wand lighting sort of things they're walking up to you, just getting, oh, just getting yeah. a little bit of fill on the eyes and stuff and yeah. uh, just from underneath or, you know, it's, it's, it's a really, you know, shooting for film and television, there's actually much more detailed mm. lighting setups than, mm. than photography sometimes, you know. Mm. We're using one, two, three, four, five lights here, whereas they can be using many more than that. Wow. So it starts at three and goes from there. So oh, it starts at one. I mean, you, know, you can just go with one key light and... I know, that's you know, what I'm trying to get the students the, the idea that it starts at three people. Yeah, it starts at three, right. Yeah, yeah. That's the new minimum standard for students yeah. across Australia. You need at least three lights happening. Yeah. Uh, and then go from there. So yeah. I love the idea of using the lights to pop. So um, I use all kinds of little bits and pieces to just pop a little bit of fill in here and there. Yeah, little accents mm. that you want to pick up on people and yeah, yeah. to give little bits of, you know, kind of contrast and stuff within the, the frame, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And that, I guess that's the difference between video and still. Video, you have to get it perfect, whereas still, we can play with it afterwards in Photoshop. Yeah, no, that's right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as long as we've got the sort of raw guts happening there. Yeah. Um, ooh, what is your favourite lighting for his social media? Oh, yeah, that's a good one, actually. So, a lot of people use a ring light when they, you know, they, they, they do a lot of their own social media sort of stuff. They'll have a ring light, which is basically that it surrounds the lens, so it, mm. it, it kind of it gives a, a fairly um, complete kind of lighting um, coverage from where the lens is, is viewing. Um, I haven't got a ring light, but in my sort of home studio, which is my, uh, I've got a little backdrop thing, which is the one that I usually use for shooting sort of self-tape auditions. I've got, um, it was actually, there's a window of, of natural, if, if I shoot during the day, there's a window with natural light, mm. but I've got a, a sheet which I basically cover that with, which basically softens that right off, because mm. you don't want to have sort of that, that sort of main harsh daylight coming through, because it can be quite harsh. So I put a sheet down, which basically kind of gives that a bit more um, softness and, and just mm. pulls it back a little bit. Yeah. And then I've got another key light, which I just bounce off the back wall, which is a white wall. So that's bounced off, which is another... Yeah soft lighting kind of technique as well. Mm. And then I have another um, sort of a highlight sort of light on, on the left hand side, which, or the right hand side, depending on where you're looking from, which just picks up extra stuff if you need it. I, I usually mm. don't um, need to use that, you know, that extra stuff. Yeah, know. brilliant. In, um, in fashion photography, they often use what's called a scrim. So that's basically a yeah. great big container with a white sheet over it. It yep. really is as simple as that. That's what you would call yep. the, my daylight thing is it's just a scrim that just kind of softens that whole um, harsh daylight that comes through. Exactly. But it's a lot of light and it's a mm. really good coverage. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. I, think, I think there was a group of photographers that actually tried to emulate 
natural daylight through yep. a scrim and it took them something like 12 lights. Oh, really? <laughs> to get that same softness and multi-directional feel coming in through a scrim. Yeah. So, really, yeah. really interesting. Yeah. But again, it's filtered. It's filtered light. That's so, it's right. just that one extra step. Yeah. But I love that from home, you can set up a, you know, scrim, scrims cost, you know, $1,000, but you can pop up a sheet and it's doing yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, that's right. You know, and, and I always, I, I generally find if you do have a, have a sort of some sort of a lighting setup, if you want it to be nice and soft, you just bounce it off a surface. If you've got a, wh- a nice white surface, like a white, you know, mm. often there'll be a white wall in, in a room or something. If you bounce it, it'll, it'll just kind of um, mm. soften that and sort of filter that light a, a bit more than having a direct kind of light on from a light source. Yeah, absolutely bang on. So you, you could be teaching lighting yourself. But I'm really, actually, I'm really impressed, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So that's going to be part of the job as an actor, though, being able to read the light and be able to work towards the light and make sure that you're focused in the right direction with that too, it's yeah? It's an interesting thing because I also do teach, I teach acting as well and, 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 um, and acting to me is, is the knowledge of how to act is one thing. You know, and you know, you can you can uh, break down a script. You can work out the kind of different character beats. You can do character back, uh, you know, breakdowns and, and sort of um, backstories and stuff like that, which is all acting stuff. But there is a whole different side to acting skill, which I call set craft, mm-hmm. which is you step onto a film set, TV set. And you know what lens the cameraman's using. You know wh- wh- how, you know, 100 mil is going to be like, it's going to be right in there, it's going to be a real close-up. Yeah. Whereas if they're on a 30 mil sort of thing, okay, well now we, we can, we can we, there's a bit more freedom to move. Things like, and then, and then knowing the sound, what, what the sound department's function is and exactly how mm. to make their job easier mm. uh, without sacrificing any of your performance. So that means... You know, in the middle of a line, you don't put your mug down, you know, have a drink and put your mug down and make a big clang in the middle of a line. You sort of finish your line and then you keep on going. You put it in and then you know that they can edit all those things out in post-production. And, yeah. and then lighting, you know, knowing, mm. knowing what lights are being used and knowing mm. exactly where they're coming from, what kind of shadows that, that, that might be um, casting on yourself. And also when you're standing with someone in a scene, mm. if you're standing in front of their key light, mm. you're casting a shadow on them and just a, you know, one simple move this yep. way, in the, and you're not you're covering the lens, you can, you know, so, the, and there is, there are so many facets, they're just the obvious ones, but yep. things like hitting marks and that sort mm. of stuff, it's all set craft, and it's, you can't learn it no. unless you're on a set, yep. you know? Brilliant. So, it's... Or we could go, yeah, do some acting classes and... <laughs> yeah, but then all that sort of stuff in terms of the lighting oh, and stuff like it. that, you know, yeah, you really, it's... I it's absolutely a, love it. Yeah, it's one of those things that you, you... Your learning curve when you go onto a film set or a TV yep. set is, is a steep one because you're learning all this stuff. But I always say to people, always watch. Don't just be absorbed in what you're doing. Watch what other departments are doing and yep. learn what other departments are doing because that is going to, in the end, help what you're doing and help the team effort that is creating a, a TV show or a film. But you know what's just evolved here? What you are doing, the way you are standing is so natural for you. It is just so exactly your personality, your style. A little bit more around that way. There you go. Back, yes, sensational. Love it. Brilliant. Look at that. That is a very natural portrait for you. That is looking absolutely brilliant. It's got this light bulb flashing all at once. Look away. Come back to me. Happy, friendly. You are going to have the best show of your life. Looking away and coming back again. Really happy and friendly. Yes. It was actually a really good shot. Turn that way. Turn that way again. All right. Just hold it there. Looking. Yeah, yeah. And go ha- happy but looking. Oh, this not a, All right. Give me the eye. Give me the eyebrow now. Give us that eyebrow. Yes. Other eyebrow. Other eyebrow. That is absolutely brilliant. That is looking so natural. That is looking so burny. Um, looking at that way now. Sensational. Love it. Excellent. All right. Happy, cheeky, friendly. Yeah. Sensational. Oh, magic. Absolutely magic. Alrighty. See, now, the beauty of talking to people and getting to know them That's is right. they do you get that of, natural yeah. flow. Because you, some, you, you would often find, and I'm sure, Robin, that when someone walks in, regardless of how experienced they are as an actor or as a performer or whatever, when they walk, or as a model, when they walk in, there's always that sense that this is a, a kind of an artificial environment. Exactly. But y- your job, as much as just taking the photos and getting the lighting right and stuff, is to yeah. make them feel comfortable in that environment so they can be themselves mm-hmm. and then that's when you capture that 
that real authentic shot. Like that moment we just had a few frames ago where it yeah. felt like you. It felt yeah. like you going to a gig in that's the right. afternoon. The character yeah. was... Well, I wouldn't be walking to a gig like this all the time. <laughs> you know, that's... It's, <laughs> it's hey, quite, we're you know, well photographic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, what are our questions? We've got from someone starting with lighting. It can be very intimidating on how to set up, get it thinking, etc. Any suggestions, please? Okay, so if you're starting out with lighting, Getting it synced up. Oh, you know what? I actually really like sync cords, believe it or not. They're the actual manual cords that connect your uh, oh, camera yeah. to the actual flash because you know it's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's lots of fabulous triggers available. I'm using a really brilliant trigger at the moment which gives me control over all the different lights. So mm -hmm. I was able to, to, to change between one set of lights and the next and then put them all together. Um, and those sorts of things are really, really handy. But if you're just getting started, seriously, you just get what's called a hot shoe adapter put it on the top of your camera and you run a sync cord. It really is as simple as that. Mm. Um, and then you've got lights connected to your camera itself. Um, any suggestions, please talk to professionals. So Michael from KL is just unbelievable. You say, look, this is what I need. And you'll go, oh, well, these are your options. There's this, this, and this. This is what I recommend for you. Um, just in the setup of this event, uh, I, I think there was two or three different types um, of syncing mechanisms mentioned. And it's, it's depending on your situation. So talk to the, to, to the pros, talk to KL and um, they'll, you know, they'll tell you the best solution for you because everyone is different. Unfortunately, there's not a lot, there's, there's not sort of a way that you can do it on a real tight, on a really small budget, is there? Because mm. lighting is, it, is it, it's expensive, you know what I mean? Like and if you want good lighting, it's, it's expensive. You, yeah. know, you, can, you can improvise with certain things, of course, right? But, uh, you know, Unfortunately, this is the whole thing with writing. There's not, there's mm. not a way that you can make it super budget. Well, yeah. you know what you can do? You get to know a photographer yeah. and you offer to assist for them and you right. get to borrow their lighting. Studio time, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not really. That's actually how I sort of, that's how I got into the industry. That's how I built my first portfolio. Yep. Um, I worked for a commercial studio. Uh, I had to clean their coffee machine. It was one of my jobs. Right. And so I went off coffee for about four years afterwards. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> But it got me here. You do your time, don't you? You do your yeah. time. I'm sure you're resourceful the same. and you yeah. make relationships. Relationships are so important in any industry, you know. But yeah. but this is, you know, this is this is all part of it, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I was fortunate that I landed in a studio that, that had 12 lights that I could use and I could borrow, and yeah. um, you know, I, I I got a pretty good portfolio put together yeah. after university, mind you. Yeah, um, right. So you know. Have a play, have a go, um, and you can hire lights as well. That's a possible. Yep. Um, all right. I'm curious. As far as clothing choices for actors, headshots, do you tend to recommend your actor to stick with block and basic colour choices? Oh, my gosh, yes. No patterns. <laughs> you you yeah. don't want the Hit shirt to overtake the, sh the face. Bingo. For you. Bingo. I also look for light as well. So you'll notice with yeah. your white shirt how I was trying to get a little bit more black in there. So still the contrast. So you've yeah, got the white bit, with the yeah, black right. over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really particularly like that jacket because it's got a really nice texture to it as well, mm -hmm. um, which I think gives character. Yep. Um, but you keep it as simple as possible because, as you said, you want the face to shine. That's right. It's all about the face and it's, all, it's about the person in the clothes. And you don't want to be, yeah, you don't want your clothes to upstage you because then there's a problem. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to walk into a job with, you know, as a, a designer sort of uh, model. All right, can you please give a little longer view of each photo you are taking so we can get a good look, please? Yeah, well, you know, we set all the uh, back settings to um, <coughs> actually stay up for a really, really long time. There we go. All right, so if you want to switch to my feed, I'll just run through these last three shots, few shots for you guys because um, they're quite dynamic. So that's our, our character coming through. There we go. Can I have a look, Bernie? All right, so I'll go back to this one. That was my favourite. Oh, yeah. Lovely character coming through. Yeah. So we'll lighten that in Photoshop so that you don't have the intensity sort of underneath your eyes. But I've got that mood in there so I can work from there. See, the guitar falls off and it's really yes. nice and dark. Yeah, one point I'm just going to make. Yeah, yeah, fire away, mate. Tell me. Feedback is difficult. You think? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So in terms of <laughs> as an actor... So normally you, you might have a makeup artist on 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 set. They're just taking the shine off you. I, I notice that they're that I'm a little bit on the shiny side. So I'm just going to put a quick powder on. And this is, you know, this is like females, males doesn't matter. I, I have a little makeup kit that I that I use for or self tape auditions. It's just about um, taking the kind of the red sort of 
the reds out of your skin and just kind of evening the skin tones. Mm -hmm. And there's no problem with putting on makeup. I don't have any uh, anyway. Well, so. pre-COVID, you used to keep a little makeup kit uh, handy, oh, yeah. but these days you need to share. So I'll just come through some of these images. So have a look at this image now in contrast. How is that for a complete difference? I'll just... Uh, so look at this. Completely different jobs. So if Bernie was going for different jobs, we've, we've lost our sound, have we? Yep, beautiful. So depending on the sort of job that Bernie was going for, is so what sort of style we get with these images. Once again, really intense. And often as an actor, you do get uh, an idea of the, the sort of character that you, they want you to be. There we go, that's a bit friendly, boy next door. And I'll come back to this shot here. So this is what we were looking at with symmetry. So I was talking earlier about creating symmetry within the shot. So you can see both with the way that his body has been posed and also with the beautiful shape of the guitar coming through, you can see a lovely sense of symmetry happening all the way throughout the image and that makes it visually strong and dynamic. And once again, with this background, I would probably change that over to something a little bit more interesting. You can get projection kits and those sorts of things, but um, often during this process of shooting someone, I will ask them questions about their life, who they are, the things they like, and I can take these images one step further and put something really cool in the background. Here, Bernie, do you want to draw a little chip? There we go. So pop yes. that in nice and square. What do you think? Love it. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Hmm. Beautiful. Hmm. Strong, dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. I think we can have a little bit more of a play. Yeah, totally. I love it. We still don't, I don't think we've quite nailed the guitar shot that is you. I would actually really like yep. a shot with you, with the guitar, in a, in a quite intimate moment. Okay. All right? You mean like, so still like, still like that? On. Yeah. Think it's going to be side on. Yep. Have a look at it. And reflective. Brilliant. Alrighty, so we'll do a test shot there. Okay. Love it. Alright, just hold it there. Sensational. Alright, so I am just going to back off this light. More oh, questions. Alright, well, as soon as I'm done with our little intimate moment here. <laughs> See, now I could use a remote and manually. Uh, Make uh, that top light a little bit darker, but you know what? I've just moved it. Alrighty. Excellent. Alright, so we've got a beautiful mood here. So later on in Photoshop, I will lighten that up. Okay, I'm actually going to have a little bit of fun here and create a little bit of negative space as well. So I'll do this manually, but just imagine later on. I'm going to have Bernie on the far left hand side. Let's see with my popping. I've got Bernie on the far left hand side of the frame, and on the right, it's going to be lots and lots of negative space. So it's almost as if you and your guitar are having a moment. I'd like to sort of looking out that way. Beautiful, hold it there. Soulful, lovely, yeah, looking out, that's gorgeous. It's really nice. Excellent. Love it. Maybe chin down a little bit. Getting closer, getting warm. Nice. Excellent. Oh, and then it's cool. also, you know, the, you ask, you're asking the subject to kind of and you're giving them sort of keywords that might resonate with them with like, you know, so let's just try a little bit more vulnerability or, um, and you're just trying to get that, that spectrum of emotion out of someone that, that some, there'll be something that triggers them and, and you'll, it'll, it'll, it'll create a reflection in them that you'll capture and it'll be something that'll be kind of quite magical, you know? Absolutely. What's the line? The eyes and the mirror to the soul. Yeah, that's you right. The yeah. soul feeling those things. Yep. It yep. comes out visually without a doubt. That's actually a really lovely moment. Fantastic. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. But, uh, seriously, that is just the most beautiful series of images. Um, I will work with those. Whoa. All right, for those watching at home, check out. Oh. Check out. Do you like light. hearing that, that sound come out of a photographer? Oh. Oh. 
car, but okay, we'll go at home, have a look at those beautiful rim lights just circling around um, Bernard's door and then coming across and that beautiful light on the guitar. So that light you can see at the moment on the guitar, that is going to be still there and they're going to bring up his face to almost match it, could possibly be just a little bit darker. So it's almost as if the red is the heart and the soul and then everything else is around it. So that is yep. just going to be an absolute winner, seriously. Amazing. All right, question? Absolutely. Sure, I can do that. I, I, I will sacrifice my, uh, my lighting. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, all right, I'll lighten it up a little bit. Okay, all right. So I'll do a shot there. Is that a bit brighter for everybody? A bit happier? Yeah, Excellent, no worries. I do like mood. I do like mood, people. Sorry, uh, when you look at my portfolio, it's all about mood. Um, all right. Hey, Robin, how did you get that dark background? Well, what is really... So, that's actually a really interesting question because we are in a, we're in a cyclorama. We're yep. in... Um, it's called a cyclorama because it has no edges along the bottom. These go all the way out to, you know, three-quarter site. They're pretty cool. And I've yep. even been in a full egg site. Yep. Are you going to open? You actually have to open a door and it's... Oh, oh. yeah, I have actually, yeah. Yeah, they're quite, cool. There's no corners, so it's quite a... It can be mm. quite a disconcerting place to be. It right? most certainly can, yeah. yeah. So we're shooting a site, which is pretty cool because there's no edges. Yeah. It makes it really easy to strip a background in as well. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no definite line. Yeah. But the reason why it has fallen out to dark is because of my shutter speed. So the ambient light in here, I'm at 100 ISO which uh, is quite a slow um, speed. And then I've got the shutter speed up high. I think it's, uh, it's only, I think, 125. It's not even 250. Um, so 125th of a second, which means that the shutter is moving so quickly that the ambient light isn't getting enough time to be exposed. So if mm. I wanted to expose the ambient light and get the background, the colour it is as we see it, I'd probably have to have it on as much as probably a 20th of a second right. um, to be able to get that, um, that feel. So, I mean, I can quickly show you, if I just pop it around to a bit of an auto setting here. So, it's saying to get the ambient light we have at the moment be 120th at f4. Okay? Alright, so you can see now the background is white. And the background is white because we're letting the ambient light mm -hmm. light it. So if I then take it round to my camera settings and I've got a super fast shutter speed, we are blocking out all of that light. It doesn't have a chance to actually be exposed. So that's what's going there. Uh, did you and Bernard discuss the shoot prior to today? To today? You know what? We didn't, did we? No, but this is, in my experience, whenever I've worked with portrait people for a headshot, for an acne headshot, they will most often say, you know, as preparation for when is an actor to go into the headshot, um, find headshots that you like. You know, mm. kind of have a look. If you ever see on, on acting websites or on agents, you know, kind of representation website, websites, and you flick through and you go, oh, Brian Brown, look at that headshot, I love that. Or, you know, anybody, right? Yeah. And you see some uh, headshots that you really like, bring it in. Mm. Because the, the photographer can often try to recreate that look. Absolutely. You know, if we know what mood you like, if we know yeah. what feel you like, we can That's generally right. work towards that. So when we shoot our actors, uh, or any of our, our headshots, we do mostly corporate headshots, yep. we actually have a whole book that, pretty much that we send out to our clients right. saying this is what to wear, this is what not to wear, no patterns. Yep. <laughs> uh, bring a few different options. You know, the, the lighter underneath with the darker on top always works. Yep. Uh, we give them a nice long list of what it is that they're after, but we find the interview process at the beginning where we say, look, tell us about you, where are you going, where are you heading, how do you want to be visually represented, yep. that's sort of where all the power is. So no, I actually kept it nice and dynamic on purpose. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. So yeah, throwing it in the hot seat, I yeah. love that. Alright, so how will the eyes come out when it is so dark? That's kind of a visual illusion coming through the camera, so it's actually a lot brighter. The information yeah. in there, there's actually quite a lot in there, so those, those blues will come out. Yep. So I'll pop these in the light room and some raw... In post you can bring that stuff up, yeah. I can bring <coughs> stuff up, so yeah. I can make them really, really beautiful and really, really perfect. Yeah. So, just wait till you see the After Effects guys. Uh, how would that work with dogs? A much slower shutter speed. Ah. <laughs> you can't have a slow shutter speed. Dogs move around too much. Yeah, I've got to tell you. Um, okay, so the first lighting setup we did was low key. It's pretty much the opposite to what you would do with animals. 
So, <laughs> you mean hiking for animals. So, yeah. with animals, you have lots of light bouncing around. You have lots of light sort of, um, basically, it's so fast that you have a very, very fast shutter speed because you need to capture the movement. Mm. So, yeah, completely different setup. Um, but I believe tomorrow at the PSC Playground, they're going to be showing you that. So, oh, okay, stay tuned tomorrow. Oh, yep. Right. yep. We're going to have a photograph your animals. Oh. Yep. Yep. That's always a uh, flash. So Bringing flash, in right? real animals. Real animals. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I've actually actually met the subject. Very good. Very oh, good. well yes. behaved. Yes. Dog. Yep. <laughs> all righty. How are we going with questions? We're all good. Sensational. All right. We have seven minutes left. With those seven minutes, is there anything, Bernie, you would really like? Is there any shape, form, feel, character you'd really like to capture? Um. No, I look. I, you know, I, I, just on the little, the few little shots I've seen that you've taken, I'm, you know, they, they're great. So awesome. All right. Know, it's, it's, it's if you would like anything extra, then you know, you, you let me know, and we'll, well, we'll figure it out. I'd love to know how comfortable you are sitting on the floor. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, we have seven minutes, which gives us about four minutes to move this to the floor. And let's see if we can get something interesting. Alrighty. So, all my lighting can be shot to poo, but that is okay. Yeah. Look at that. You are a natural. So, what I'm going to do now is just move everything around a little bit. Just hold up. I'd like, to, I'd like you to just think of like this. I'd like you to think of that moment after you've been shooting all day. You're exhausted. Well, I'd normally have a beer, but that's all right. Well, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yep. Job well done. Life is good. That moment where everything feels like it's fallen to the together. That is a sensational shape. You are very natural on the ground. You know, not many people can pull that off. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Straight down the lens. All righty. What I might do is just punch this up a bit. Alright, I'm going to lighten this right up. Alright, a little bit more. Alright, let's do a test frame. Woo! There we go. Alrighty. Once again, the background is something I will work with later. Alrighty, straight down the lens. Alright, change your shape. Something slightly different. Yes, love it, love it, love it. There we go. Brilliant. I'm going to have you straight down the lens. That's a really great shape on you. Three, two, one. Excellent. Alright, go warm. Go friendly. Alright, give us a throwaway smile. Yeah, there you go. Love it. There you go. I'm just going to actually darken that. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that is happy days. Do that again, do that again. All right, I'll hold up that. Oh, beautiful. Keep going. A couple more of those. Sensational. You just had the best day to live your whole life. So good. Yeah, so good. Love it, love it, love it. Relax. Just come forward again. A more dynamic forward. Yeah. Excellent. Really intense. Straight down the lens. Excellent. Chin up to the fraction. Alright, a couple more. Love it. Okay, a couple more throwaways. You just had the best day ever. You met the best director. You pulled off the best job. You're going to win an award from it. So much fun. Joy, etc, etc. You look over there. You see a guy walking in the road with everything you've ever dreamed of. You see, a, you, you see the direction you've always wanted to work with. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 
Sensational. Love it. Love the dynamics. All right. Now we're going to bring it right down. In the last few frames, I went straight to the lens. Really serious. Really intense. Great. Just move your arm straight just a fraction. Just a little bit more angles going on. Lovely. Excellent. That is brilliant. Oh, I'm loving this series. Well, can you bring it uh, down further, closer towards me? Yeah. That's great. Can you bring your hand up to your face? Yes. How about that? That's great. That is brilliant. Really strong. Love it. Oh, we just nailed it. All right, keep it there, keep it there. That's really good. All right. Go really serious from that. Really serious. Love the intensity. Chin down just a fraction and then eyes straight up at me. Oh, nice. You're going to love these. Hold it there, hold it there. Another one of those. Brilliant. Chin down a fraction. There you go. Alright, uh, people really have to finish. <laughs> Love it. So good. So good. We have nailed it. Thank you, Jay. Thanks, ladies. Wonderful. Absolutely nailed it. How did it feel sitting on the floor for those two moments? Actually, really good. I, you know what? I've, I've not. I've not. I can't, I can't remember having done a photo shoot sitting on the floor, but it felt actually really kind of ground, like you know, so it's cliche to say, it felt grounded. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. yeah, absolutely. So that can actually, because I do, I sit on the floor a lot, you know, and you do, people people often will just sit on the floor yeah. here and there and stuff, so it happens. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's not an unusual thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I just love the pun. Which one? It's quite grounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we now have those last few shots and I cannot wait to jump them through Photoshop and show you the results because I tell you what, they are stunning. So yeah. thank you for being such a pleasure. Thank you. Picture. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it and, and thank you for having me. Yeah, I hope everybody out there is, uh, has enjoyed the session and learned a thing or two as well. Thank, thank you, you ben. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robin. That was an absolutely fantastic session, and I just love the dynamics between the two of you. <laughs> it was really great. Look, it was so fabulous to have you join us at our first PSC Playground. Thank you. And, Robin, the feedback's been amazing. Lots and lots of wonderful feedback. So, thank you, everyone at home, for your questions and for joining us. And, guys, give me a nod up the back there if we have Terma 5 going. Because I would like for Josh, Dane and Maddie to so please are. stand up, take a bow, wave, whatever you would like to do. We'd like to thank you guys. Fabulous students at PSC who have been running the switches, the audio, the cameras and the lighting. Yeah. You guys rock and this wouldn't have happened without you. So thanks again, Robin. Thank you, Bernard. Awesome to have you thank here. Thank you, Nikon. Yes. <laughs> um, next up and streaming live at 5 p.m. is the creation of a collaborative artwork. So to join that session, please log out of the link that you are currently in. Go back to the PSC Playground website and choose the link for the creation of a collaborative artwork. We look forward to seeing you again really soon. And once again, thank you, Bernard. Thank you, Robin. You're both superstars. Thank, thank you. Thank you.